morning, welcome, or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. If it's been a while since you visited me, hi, welcome, my name is Sierra, and I'm an American who lives in England, and I share videos of my family's life here, or whatever it is I'm interested in on the particular day that I sit down to film. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another Lush unboxing haul. Specifically, it's going to be the Easter Inn for 2024, which I am very excited, actually a little bit surprised by, because for some reason, every single year, the Easter Range comes out so much earlier than I expect it, and for some reason, I'm never quite ready for it, but it's here, and I've got the pieces that I wanted to buy right on the table, and I'm very excited to show them to you. Before we get into that, I do want to remind everyone that I'm not like all the other Lush creators. I don't buy every single item in the range every single time. I only buy the items that I'm excited about, that I want to gift, or items that are new that I haven't tried before. So without further ado, let's get into this Easter range. So the first item that I want to show you is the item I'm actually the most excited about for this year because it was a new item in one of the years that I was a brand new Lushy in like I think 2015 or 2016, so I've been around for a while. But last year they changed it and it wasn't very good. But this year they brought the item back in all of its glory and that is the golden egg melt which mine came from online so it had a bit of a rough trip to my house unfortunately as I'm feeling through it I feel like the um, cocoa butter cutting on this one still isn't quite as thick as it was in years past but I really missed it last year when it didn't come out in its classic glory so I'm very excited to try it and it smells like honey wash the kids Still, oh, it's so good. It's like a very sweet, honey, creamy toffee scent and it is delicious. If you haven't smelled that before, I am gonna quickly just tell you guys officially what's in the ingredients. So according to the ingredient list, the golden egg um, bath bomb melt is scented with bergamot oil, Brazilian orange oil, gardena extract, extra virgin olive oil, and that's it. So I don't know how those scents work together to make it to this delicious honey smell, but Oh, it's the best. I love it. That being said, I didn't buy any for this pack particular haul, but there's also a golden egg shower gel that came out last year that was a repeat this year, but it's the same scent, except it's like more of a shower form. So if you like the smell, but you don't have a bath, that would be a really good alternative for you. Actually, now that I'm sitting here looking at my Lush haul, I'm actually kind of regretful that I didn't buy that golden egg shower gel. So that's very disappointing. But anyway, moving on to the next item in the haul is a soap. Actually, it came out last year, but I bought it again this year, and it is the Rockstar Rabbit Soap, or at least that's what it's called last year. Um, mine is not in the best condition because when I pulled everything out of the box, I kind of let it air out and like the scents uncross. If you've got Lush, Lush shipments a lot, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes when the items are close to each other, the scents kind of cross a little, and if you let them air out, things get better. Um, but Little Man saw it and swiped it because he loved it last year. But as I was saying, Le Rockstar Rabbit Soap last year was scented like the Rockstar Soap, which is like a like warm, pinky smelling vanilla. That's at least how I would describe it. And this year it smells a little bit different. It's the creamy candy scent, which is kind of like bubble gum. So smells pretty good. Um, I think I like the Rockstar Rabbit more, but when, as I said before, Little Man just wanted this because the shape is really cool. So that's exciting. It's also because it's very moisturizing and creamy, it is melting all over my fingers. So I'm going to put it down and I'm going to show you guys the next item. The next item in the Easter range I picked up for this year is the Hot Cross Bunny Bubble Bar. As you guys know, over the years I've become a lot more of a bath bomb girl over a bubble bar girl but the scent of this one makes me kind of want to go back to my bubble bar days but before we even get into that just look at how cute his little face is he's called the hot cross bunny which if you don't know in british english cross means like angry so that makes it really funny and, but hot cross bunny it smells kind of like a, a vanilla and cinnamon scent at least that's what i've heard so i'm going to give it a smell and then we'll read the ingredient list oh that smells really good and i feel like i've smelled this before I'm pretty sure this is a re repeat, repeat scent family. I don't know which one it is. If you do know which one it is, please let me know in the comment section. But according to the ingredient list, Hot Cross Bunny is scented with Buchu oil, ginger oil, Sicilian lemon oil, and ginger powders. So I don't know where the cinnamon scent comes from. I bet my nose is just confused because of all the ginger smell. And usually when I smell ginger, I'm used to smelling cinnamon. But it smells really good and he is just so cute. I might have to get another one just to put in the background for a little while. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. But anyways, moving on to the next bath product that I got for this year. Actually, I only purchased bath products this year just because I feel like I have a lot of shower products right now. But anyways, the next one I purchased is the Alien Bunny Bath Bomb, which look at this, you guys. Isn't he so cute? Um, I feel like over the years, Lush has had an alien theme going on. We've had, what is it? At Halloween, we had like the alien face. We had a rabbit. Was it last year or two years ago? I can't remember. One or two years ago, we had a rabbit that was flying in like a spaceship carrot. So I'm not really sure what the whole alien connection is recently with Lush, but I think it's really cute. And from here, I can tell it's a very sweet scent. Well, let's just give it a little smell. Oh, that smells really good. 
once again a really familiar kind of smells like the sherbet lemon scent that i remember sherbet lemon was like a yellow bath bomb that looked like a sherbet lemon candy that came out a few years ago uh, i think it was from the lush kitchen actually is when i tried it but it's like an old retro product but anyways alien bunny aside from being super super cute and you guessed it this is also for little man easter bastard is scented with sicilian lemon oil lime oil freeze-dried carrot powder interesting and gardenia extract so i smell all those things except for the carrot powder so i wonder if the carrot powder is maybe on the inside i don't know but that should be really interesting to try out and actually i really love the smell a lot so i think i'm gonna go get another one for myself because i know little man is not gonna want to share this so that's very exciting. And then moving on to the last and final products I picked up for this year requires a little bit of assembly. So that could be interesting. But it is the Eggs on Legs Bath Bomb. And the Eggs on Legs Bath Bomb looks kind of like this, except it has these two little legs that go on. So we're going to try to assemble it together in a second. But it is the comforter scent, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, I think it is the comforter. But then again, there's a lot of smells going on in here. But anyway, it is again a little flying saucer. Or actually, maybe it's not supposed to be a saucer. I think maybe it's just supposed to be a pair of trousers. But um, you take the little pair of trousers and then you take the egg, which definitely is giving me um, Christmas pud vibes, except in an egg shape. So it's going to go like that. And then put the little feet on it like this, which I'm pretty sure this is going to topple over any second. Maybe I can do it like this there we go okay look at that look how cute that is I love that oh my goodness but anyways I'm gonna see if I can hold this while I also read the ingredient list to you according to the ingredient list eggs and legs is scented with black currant absolute which is why it smells like the comforter because the comforter has historically been that current oh it smells so good I kind of want to eat it I'm not going to but you know if you could eat the smell I would and then it also has bergamot oil, cypress oil, and marshmallow root powder, which makes it really sweet. So, oh, that smells so good. I'm a huge fan of this. Again, I got this for Little Man as a gift. I'm going to kind of put it together probably with some blue tack inside of his Easter basket so that he can see it. But that's really fun. I really like that. Actually, I wonder if you can, like, make it walk without making it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we will just put that down for now. So you guys will be happy to know that Eggs and Legs is safely not broken and sitting on my little table next to me. But look at my hands. Oh my gosh. I hope after I wash them that they smell like the comforter for the rest of the day because that would be incredible. But anyways, that is all of the Easter Range products that I picked up for Easter of 2024. I think my favorite one overall is probably the hmm hot cross bunny just because he is so cute but as far as the scent and the one I'm most excited to actually try would be the golden egg because this is an old favorite of mine so if I have a chance to try this before I edit and publish this video I will let you guys know along the bottom what I thought of it in comparison or if you've tried it personally yourself you can let me know down in the comment section so that's everything that I bought for this year I hope that you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in the next one happy Easter bye